Hey guys, so in this week's collection at adorethem.com, we are talking about tough times. And even if we haven't gone through something ourselves, chances are that we know somebody that has gone through something very difficult and maybe they're struggling currently, maybe they're trying to recover, maybe it's something that happened a while ago, or maybe that's something that might be happening in the near future. So this video is to help give you some ideas about how you can help a friend or a family member, or even an acquaintance, get through something difficult. Um, something that's come up as I'm talking with fellow moms and fellow families that have struggled with something difficult, what comes up a lot is that you don't know what you need in that moment, always. Or trying to think through and, and reach out and ask for something just feels like another thing that you have to do. It feels like another burden. Um, so a lot of times you can't expect someone who's going through a very difficult time to necessarily reach out and be vocal about what they need specifically. Um, if they do, wonderful. And if you're struggling with something and, and you do have the capacity to reach out to those around you, I want to assure you that, that we love that, that we're here to help that that that's why we're here we we want to be able to assist you any way we can but even if they don't reach out to you there's maybe some things that you can do and I think the important thing to keep in mind with everything is um, to we always want to find that balance we don't want to be too intrusive we don't want to make their life harder um, so a lot of times what people do is we don't know what to do so we just don't do anything and that's not necessarily the right strategy either so it's even some simple things I mean stopping in and, and giving someone a hug um, you know dropping off a meal whether you whether you go in and say hello for literally maybe five minutes um, or whether you just drop off a meal on the doorstep and text them after you drove away and say uh, you know hey dinners on your doorstep in a cooler um, it can look a, a different ways depending on your relationship and all of that but a couple ideas um, I was at Costco checkout <laughs> the one time and a, the woman in front of me had a cart filled with those Costco pre-made meals and I said wow are you having a party and she said no I wish and she was like I have a lot of friends and family that are going through some difficult things right now so I'm stocking up on these pre-made meals and I'm gonna drop them off um, at their houses and I thought that that was such a good idea because a lot of times we get caught up in the busyness of our own lives and we might not have the time to, to think through and cook out, you know, a, a home-cooked meal. Um, but I thought it was a really great alternative. Um, because even those, those Costco meals, those pre-made meals, I've stuck them in my freezer before and they're still good um, down the road. So even if they have a stockpile, they can put one of those in the freezer, um, you know, like that Alfredo pasta or their stuffed peppers or whatever it may be. Um, it's just an easy option. It's an easy option for you as a friend trying to help out and it's an easy option for the person that you're trying to help. So I thought that was a great idea. Another food alternative, um, when I had a surgery over the winter, a friend of mine sent me um, different restaurant gift cards and I liked that. I liked that because it forced us to do different things. It forced us to use that money at that specific place somewhere that we might not have treated ourselves to otherwise. Um, but even, I love also that she included a McDonald's gift card because the week of my surgery, my children um, I am not ashamed to say it. they lived on Happy Meals. I mean, the the I forget what the toy of the week was, the week that I had my surgery, but we have a lot of those. We have a lot of those toys. So they lived on Happy Meals, and it was a nice thing to be able to hand grandma or dad, you know, a, a McDonald's gift card, um, and and be like, here you go, Happy Meals again for dinner tonight. Um, and they sent some other versions, you know, more adult versions too, which were nice to be able to grab takeout with a gift card and my husband could bring it home for us to enjoy. Um, another option, I am such a huge fan of Amazon and Amazon Prime um, because two-day shipping is like amazing that you can pretty much send anything to anybody's doorstep so you don't have to bring you know have it delivered to your house and then you have to take it over to them you can send it right to them um 
so I did this for a friend before and I've done it for birthdays if people are far away um, where I order it on Amazon I put in their shipping address and it gets delivered to their door so some ideas um, if they have children I like to give people um, in I like to give them a gift like of toys for their kids because a lot of times if you can give them a new toy it occupies the kid for just a little bit that maybe mom can nap or just take some downtime or it's just something different to occupy them so I love gifting people who are struggling gifting people who are struggling with something difficult um, a toy and and think through a toy that's not gonna have to have the parent be super involved like maybe it's just Legos that they can build on their own or blocks or you know something that doesn't require a ton of adult supervision or a ton of adult input um, you can also there's a lot of stuff through Amazon food wise or tea or mugs or you know you can get really creative with what you can send people because as we all know you can pretty much buy anything on Amazon which is wonderful um, like I said before it could just be dropping something off on their doorstep too so don't feel like you know a lot of times for somebody struggling with something it feels really daunting and overwhelming to have to schedule a specific time like yeah sure you can drop off dinner at 4 30 and then you know like you have to be dressed the kids have to be presentable like you just feel like there's a lot of pressure around it um so a lot of times I won't even tell them I'm coming um and I just leave something on their doorstep quietly don't ring the doorbell I don't knock I don't ask to come in I just leave it and I leave and I text them thinking of you there's something on your doorstep um the alternative of course too like sometimes it is okay to um offer you know and and kind of maybe not even offer but just show up if you're close with somebody to give them that hug to give them that support to just be there for them in whatever state they are in um that's needed too sometimes especially if it's family or something like that um but i think i think those are kind of you know a couple general ideas to at least get you thinking about it um i really encourage you to read through our collection um there is an amazing article by alexa big wharf who she put together a month by month guide for helping someone who has um who is I don't want to say recovering who is dealing with infant loss or pregnancy lost um, she has an amazing list of things that you can do to help that mom and that family get through that difficult time so go to adorethem.com slash tough dash times I will include the link in the description below um, but I hope all of that is helpful and I will talk to you later bye